Welcome to Bill of Proofs Design YouTube channel. My name is Damien. <clears throat> For those of you that have bought my battery box, thank you very much. We appreciate your business. For those of you that haven't, you can find them on eBay. Bill of Proof underscore LLC is the username. Particularly, this video is to teach people how to bend and weld up this battery box. So this, this one here is a Swiss style for a belt. So once it's formed up, there's a belt <clears throat> that goes over, over the top of the battery that's used to secure it. This one here has a hard clamp that secures the battery with a mechanical clamp. All right, so let's get started. It doesn't matter which way you bend up the flaps. Either way, it's, it's going to come out correctly. So put on a pair of gloves so you don't get cut and pull up each side to where it's close to 90 degrees. If you have a steel workbench or a good work surface, you can put a flap <clears throat> down and rotate the battery box towards that flap. Now that you have it bent up, you have each one, grab yourself a combo square or a machinist square, hold it up to each corner and check squareness. This one needs to be bent a little bit more. You can also use the edges of the bot, the cut battery box as a, as a gauge for your bends. They're very straight and you'll get extremely close using those. So go around, check each corner. Make sure it's square prior to welding because you don't want to unsquare battery box. It just looks crappy. All right. Now that we're all set, we're ready to weld. I'm going to use a TIG welder for this. Good general rule of thumb is use one amp per thickness, per thousand thickness of material. So for 11 gauge material, 120 thousandths, set your machine to around 120 amps. I'm going to use argon as a shielding gas. Turn your argon on and you can set it to 15 cubic feet per minute. Helmet. Now when we start to weld this, it doesn't matter which side, top or bottom, you begin welding. <clears throat> but either side, you're going to want to manipulate the pedal so you're not generating too much heat because it's very easy to completely burn out these ends. box down. I use a filler metal ER70 S2. It is 1 16th in diameter. I use 2% thoriated tungsten and a number 6 cup. Here we go. Take your time and fill up the joint. Take your time, you should have a nice weld. You can build it up a little bit more if you want to complete a nice radius after you're grinding. Continue to all four corners, weld up the corners, have yourself the beginnings to a nice battery box. Thanks for watching.